I'm now joined alongside UC San Diego's Matt Hallback. Matt, how have you been enjoying the summer so far with Firebirds? I've been enjoying it a lot. Uh, met a lot of good people so far. The coaches are amazing. My host family is super nice, so I've been having a really good time out here. I know you're a West Coast kid from California, so how do the beaches stack up here on the East Coast? Oh, uh, I mean, I, I haven't been that much, honestly. We don't have that many off days, but uh, they're nice. Um, there's so much great white shark warning things that I get scared to go in the water, but so I'd have to say San Diego beaches win a little bit, but they are nice out here. I'm a little scared too. The sharks scare me. A few seals as well, but speaking of San Diego, you had an incredible year with the Tritons, making the All Big West first team. So why do you think you found so much success this past spring? Um, I can't really put one thing to it. Uh, I've kind of just worked on my craft every day. You know, same thing I'm doing out here, just trying to get better every day, and it stacks, it stacks up, and that's why I feel like I was successful this year. You also helped the Tritons win the first ever Big West Championship. How special was that? Yeah, that was super cool. Um, definitely a special season. You know, going out there and winning in our third year D1 was super cool, and honestly not something that I was – I didn't think we could do it, honestly, and then, you know, it kept clicking, it kept going, we had a shot, and we did it, and it was awesome. You also have a familiar face out here, Ryan Reeses. How awesome is it to be able to have someone from the entire other side of the country out here with you in Orleans? Yeah, it's definitely super cool. Just, you know, obviously it's super far away from San Diego, and you get one of your boys on your team, and it kind of makes you feel a little bit more like home, so it's, it's really nice having them out here. Another reunion is with Joe Oyama. Last summer you were with the Apple Sox. Now you guys are here in Orleans. How great is that bond that you guys have at first and second base? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, we've been around each other so long. We know each other so well. You know, on the field and off the field, we just get along really well. So it's definitely cool to have someone you can, you know, you've known so well and you can just trust with anything. So it's really cool. And you guys were both selected to be on the all-star team. How much did that mean to you? It was really, yeah, I mean, it was really cool. I keep saying it was really cool, <laughs> but it was, it was sick, you know. Someone that I'm really good friends with, we got to like represent Orleans together, so definitely a good time. And this season, you really have been commanding at first base. So what part of the game, the defensive side of the game, do you enjoy? Um, I feel like I enjoy like picking up my teammates, you know. A lot of times, you know, infield's hard, so they're not always going to make the best throws. And then, you know, picking them up and just, you know, telling them I'm there for them is, is part of the coolest thing, I think, to do doing at first base. And you have this special power of basically getting on a base almost every single game. So how much success do you think you've been finding at the plate, and what do you attribute that to? Uh, I attribute it just to being, you know, relaxed. I feel like that's the biggest thing I've done out here is change my mindset, um, being relaxed, and whatever I get, I get, and, you know, not tensing up and just seeing the pitch come to me. Um, that's, like, the biggest thing I've done out here, and, you know, it's been working out pretty well, so I'm going to keep doing it. You have some of the best pitchers that are pitching to you in the Cape Cod League, so do you think that's also pushing you as a hitter? Yeah, definitely. Um, they throw a lot harder out here, so you got to change up your timing a little bit, but I feel like I've been doing well and I've been learning a lot, so it's definitely been a good experience. You also told me that you were a hooper growing up, so was it a hard decision trying to decide whether you wanted to play baseball or basketball? Not really. I mean, it was hard because I, I love basketball so much, and that's what all my friends did, so I, I had that in my life. and then. I got to a point where I was I was good at baseball and I was a little falling off in basketball and you know I just wanted to keep playing whatever sport it was so it ended up being baseball and I'm happy I did it though. And if you had to make a player comparison for you and an NBA player, who would it be? Definitely Clay Thompson, catch and shoot player. I can dribble a little bit and get to the rim, but more of a three point shooter. That that would be my comparison. Would you want to be a splash bro? I would love to be a splash bro. <laughs> and I also heard that you've been working on your cooking skills with Grayson. What's been your favorite thing that you have made with him? Um, we've been making a lot of egg, cheese, and uh, you know bagel sandwiches and stuff in the morning, chefing up for breakfast. That's the biggest thing we've been doing. Um, that's about all I learned so far. Have you had the protein pancakes yet? I tried them once and I didn't think they were that, all that, so I would stick with the eggs. Wow, that's a hot take. And if you guys aren't making any food, do you have a spot in Orleans that's your favorite to go to? Um, I like the knack. The knack's pretty good. Corner store is pretty good. But I go to Friends Market a lot and just grab whatever hot food they got. That's kind of like my go-to every lunch. Yep. Perfect. Well, thank you so much and good luck today. Yeah, thank you.